In the local, lowbrow town of Boonsdale, Ohio, for 150 years, not a single thing of importance occurred. Alas, while nothing exciting happened in the flowing, solitary fields of grain, Boonsdale residents has always carried with them a general sense of content and safety. Alas, tragedy can and will strike wherever it pleases, and it gives no care to any pre-established sense of serenity. William Drake in 1987 could best be described as the epitome of a friendly child. It was almost as if he was an overly cheery kid taken straight from the 1950s. He took this behavior to the point of unsettling not just the children, but the adults as well. However, living in a farm community meant the adults of the town had to work and failed to notice the severity of the formation of Drake's psychosis. The other children, while trying desperately not to associate with him, certainly never dared to cross him. William, already described as certifiably insane, also was a very big boy. By the age of 12, he was 6'2", and when he was full-grown, he had reached a height of 6'9". He was very much against conventional violence such as acts that involved guns, knives, or even fists. But one thing he saw as perfectly fine behavior was slapping. This was his way of trying to connect with people when reality only made them flee faster. When a new kid came into town unaware of Drake's psychotic tendencies, picked on him after school, it turned into a huge mistake. The boy was found in his parents' barn, desperately clinging to life with the reddest cheeks you could imagine. He died the next day. William's parents, Sandy and Jeff, suddenly realized the full implication of what their son had become, and William was promptly shipped to the nearest mental hospital, a very cheap one I may add, as the Drakes are very hard pressed for money. This dirty, dungy sanitarium, if anything, only worsened his condition. His slapping reached new heights of the extreme, and this is the time he christened himself the Slap Happy Pappy. To uneducated onlookers, that name may seem humorous, but make no mistake, this man is the apex of the darkness that lies in all of our hearts. He's a dangerous killer who gets a sadistic enjoyment out of his torture slapping. We can only pray to God he stays in that hospital for the rest of his days.